So let's go for our next question. Uh, also, it has two parts. One is how you can enable a HA on, for example, region A01, COM01. And you have to ensure on that HA configuration. If that HA happened, you have to ensure that virtual machines are shutting down and resorted if that host in a cluster became isolated. Okay. And for a second part, you have to make sure that virtual machines are rebooted once in 24 hours, you know, and nothing more, nothing less. That's really easy. And because of that, you have to do a lot of things, but that's really simple. For example, there is an also hint that protected with virtual machine monitoring, you know, you know where you have to go inside that configuration. As before, I use it hands-on lab experience. Let me maximize that. Yeah. And I expand the data center here, cluster configuration. You can see that uh, HA is already disabled by default. And you enable that. And they ask you, for example, what happened there? Let me bring that question up again for you. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ensure that VM are shutting down and restarted. Okay, shutting down and restarted. If that host isolation happened, you know, that's really easy. And Make sure regarding that VM monitoring. Let me enable that here. Make sure within the time window of 24 hours, okay, just that virtual machine once rebooted. Nothing more, nothing less. That would be really easy. So, I back to the top again. You have to enable that HA for a question. Don't touch anything. Host monitoring will be enabled. I, I think also they ask you for enable that uh, host monitoring, but don't touch anything at, at all. They ask you for a host isolation problem or if there is a problem regarding that host failure for a host isolation reaction, what will be happen? Shut down and restart VM, as they mentioned in the question. And for VM monitoring, make sure within the 24 hours, just virtual machine rebooted once, not more. And hit OK. And make sure the task is finished successfully. You can see now that's installing that vSphere HA agent on both ESXi hosts in a cluster. You have to make sure the task finished successfully. And after that, you can go next for after the, the future question, you know, the next question. But indeed, you have to take care of that all tasks and make sure that all tasks finished successfully. When you see that the status is here, completed with a green check mark, it means you did well. And don't worry about the rest. Okay, now, they're waiting for an uh, election inside the cluster. Let them do that. And after that, you can see that HA is enabled with the proper of configuration, which is you did on a lab. And you can go for it for the next question. Uh, this is really simple. It has also two parts, but that was really easy and handy. You know where you can find that HA configuration and also that host monitoring. Just make sure you know that all parts of HA configuration for the type of question, you know. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button below and make on 
click on the bell and turn on the notification for our new videos. Also, I'm really happy for knowing your idea. If you have any idea or questions, simply you can put, the, put your idea or questions on the comment down below and I will answer you as soon as possible. I'm free. So stay with me for the next question.